Hey everyone, welcome back to Apollo Art Analysis. In today's episode, we're going to be studying a piece by the 3D artist known as Adam Schrader. And in today's episode, we're going to be discussing the concept of the subconscious. We're also going to try and connect it symbolically to the scene we're viewing today. So let's just jump right into it. So whenever you first see this work, it is quite the strange introduction, right? This may even be a little jarring for the initial introduction. We see this lone subject sitting on the left side of a wall here. He is in all black, kind of a metallic shine, if you will. And then around the corner we have this strange doorway with four weird orbs levitating in the entryway. It's quite interesting. It's going to have you wondering what exactly is happening here. There really are two areas to this composition. We have one side of the corner and we have the other side. One is hiding and then one is much more open and emerging from that doorway. You look at the colors within this composition. I think that creates this jarring effect, right? There's so many different lines that, of course, creates a sense of rhythm, but this sheer amount of light within the work at hand, it's a very bright visual experience. And of course, that creates a lot of visual energy that we're feeling at the moment. So upon this work, of course, we have black and white, but within that you have that hint of green emerging from the doorway. This, of course, is a sense of color rarity. It's going to be drawing your eye to that doorway because that color is just so rare because you don't see it often within the work at hand. So your eye is going to be naturally drawn to that as a result of that visual effect. You may also notice, like I said, a sense of energy that the sheer value of the color that's hitting us right now creates a very energetic experience and it's surely going to catch your eye and kind of awaken the viewer, if you will. I briefly mentioned these lines. They go in every which way. They create a sense of rhythm. They intersect. This also adds to the energy that's present within the work at hand. With this in mind, got to ask you guys, how do y'all feel when you view this composition or what's coming to mind when you're viewing this work? Of course, the lone subject is quite interesting, right? He is in this all black metallic shine. It's hard to say exactly what is happening. And then on the other side, we have the doorway. Within the doorway are four floating orbs. It's hard to say exactly what they are. But regardless, the title of this work is subconscious. So let's think about that. Why is this symbolically subconscious? Well, for one, you have the lone subject. He is in all black. He is kind of voided. He is kind of hiding. So you could hide from your subconscious. The subconscious, of course, is the area of your mind where you don't exactly know. So let's say it's influencing you, but you don't consciously know that. So it's kind of hard to wrap your head around it at times, but that is an element of psychology. So the subconscious is incredibly important. We have this lone subject hiding around the corner, and in the doorway are four orbs, which are floating and emerging from this green lit entryway. So perhaps the lone subject is hiding, hiding from his subconscious, but nonetheless, perhaps each orb is a concept, an idea, or even a memory that he may be running from. And these emerge nonetheless through the subconscious. I think we may be seeing that symbolically within the scene at hand. And the door is obviously a symbol as well, right? It is a gateway. It is a place of transition from one to another. So whenever we go from the subconscious to the conscious, we are transitioning from something which we are not consciously or knowingly aware of at the time to something that we are consciously aware of, something that we do know of, something that we can put into words. So perhaps these four orbs represent some type of concept or memory or idea that is emerging from the subconscious into the conscious light so it can be real realize that it can actually be stated and not be confused about what exactly is influencing it. I think we may be seeing that here. That's just my speculation when it comes to symbolism. I got to extend the question to y'all. What do y'all see when you view this work or how do you think the title as subconscious directly connects to the symbolic nature of this scene? I think that's a really fascinating question. I was asking myself that over and over and over again as I prepared the written study for this work. But regardless, it is a very symbolic composition, and I really love what Adam Schrader did here. You know, I didn't bring in any of his additional works because this work is quite unique. So there's not really anything to compare it to in that respect when it comes to his portfolio. So truly a one-of-a-kind work. I really love this piece, and I really hope you'll enjoy it as well. The work before us is quite realistic, right? And that is due to the medium it was created in. That is going to be the medium of 3D art or the digital render. So this was rendered using a digital rendering program, and that is going to be the program known as Blender. Perhaps the most widely used and perhaps the most widely known program when it comes to creating different models in 3D art. Once again, that is going to be Blender. Blender was used to create the work at hand. But what I really hope you'll enjoy today, we talked about so many different things from this symbolic nature of the composition, you know, the subconscious trying 
trying to understand that perhaps these orbs are emerging into consciousness that you can actually you know realize it and be aware of it we also talked about sense of visual energy the rhythm created by these works the sheer amount of energy coming from the bright white color within the work at hand i think they're all very important when you're trying to study and understand this symbolic scene once again, really hope you'll enjoy today. If you'll enjoyed, go check out the original artist, Adam Schrader. Like I said, this work is pretty unique, but he has a lot of work to offer. So check out his portfolio if you enjoyed today. Certainly has a lot more art to enjoy. But like I said, that's really all I have for today. Really hope you'll enjoy it. If y'all did, go check out the original artist, Adam Schrader. My name is Apollo. This was Apollo Art Analysis, and I'll see y'all on the next episode. We hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you'd like to support our work directly, please check out our Apollo community tokens. Apollo Art Exchange is an ecosystem of art appreciation which elevates artists each and every day. Thanks for listening.